In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a cool cyberpunk effect with PS Touch. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, let's import our background image. So this is the background image we're going to be using for the cyberpunk effect. So you click on add. And here we have it. So now let us import our model image. So you click right here, click here, click on photo layer and on photo library. So this is our model. So we add it. Think I'm going to okay done. So let me take a look at the size of the image. Okay, this one is good. So now let us do some blending. Let's try and blend out the background. First of all, I'm going to take the saturation down. So we'll click on adjustment, click on saturation, take it all the way down. So, but before we do this, let's make sure we make a duplicate just to have a backup in case we make any mistake we can always come back to this one so now let's go back to adjustment and saturation so i think this is just fine done now let us go to adjustment again but this time we are going to curves so I'm going to brighten a highlight and darken a shadows. For the red, I think I'm going to add some reds at the highlight and reduce the reds at the shadows. For the blue, I think I'm going to increase the blue. Okay, let's go to green. Should I reduce the green? Okay. just a little like so I think I should go back to the curves to the RGB and yeah I feel like it looks a bit more better than before so done let's take a look at the before and after so let's turn this one on so this is the before and the after as you can see it makes a huge difference so now let us select around our hair we want to change the color of the hair so we click right on toolbar then we select our quick selection tool so i'll go to the size let's make it small and just click and drag around the hair to select it Okay, I'll go to this side as well. Nice. So carefully select around the air like so. Okay. This part as well. Yeah. And for the major parts, oops, we did too much there, so let us undo that. Let's try again. okay so things are looking a bit rough right now not until we refine it so let's click right here and refine the edge so just click 
that was a really big brush let's reduce the size of the brush then you can click right here as well okay let's assume this is fine click on done good and now let us click right here on this plus icon and layer from selection okay so i'll click right here and deselect so now i freely come to adjustment saturation take it all the way to the bottom good then done so we want to enhance it even more we'll go back to adjustments but this time we we'll click on curves okay so let us undo everything right now i think i'll make the air bright like so and i'll come to the red i think i want to give it some cyan go to the green should i give it some magenta sure to the blue i would love to give it some blues nice done so this is the before and the after now let's go to the glasses so we're going to select make sure you click on the model layer then select around the glass like so so take a look we selected this part so let us click on mode and subtract from it like so now let us refine it so click right here refine edge so just brush from the edge think everything is fine and now let us add an empty layer above it so we can fill it so click right here click on empty layer done and now you can fill it so click right here fill and stroke so click on the color I think i'll go with a magenta nice one there done so now we we'll click right here and deselect so we can play with some blend modes and see let's try overlay linear dodge okay looks cool isn't it so now let's make the background a bit more interesting so we'll click right here go to the background add an empty layer above it like so click on done and now let's apply some gradient so you click right here gradient choose a radio gradient but we don't want it to be black we want it to be white so click right here click on this black change it to white click this one change it to white like so okay so just put it just behind her done and you can try with the blend mode should we go with screen or linear dodge then your dodge will work really well so i'll take down the opacity like so i think we should give our model some kind of highlights why not so click right here click on this layer duplicate it put it above then come over here click on brightness take it all the way to the bottom and change the blend mode to linear dodge come over here to effects and bevel so the direction which is the angle i think i'll put it right here the distance yeah i think this looks cool yeah it looks really really well so click on done 
and now what else okay yeah let's add some more effects to it so go back to the background layer just click on the light layer add a photo layer photo library so let's start up with this image make it bigger i think i should flip it okay change the blend mode to screen like so you can come over here to adjustment levels you can take this side to the top take this side to the bottom this really look cool done if you want to you can add some bouquet click right here click on add photo layer photo library so you add bouquet image click on add put it right here i think okay change the blend mode to screen you can blow it come over here to gas and blow think this one is enough this is the before and the after this looks really really nice so now you can save it and move over to snapseed to make this look even more interesting so i'll click on done and save so we'll click right here save to gallery select the image you want to save and click ok so now let's move over to snapseed and let the phone begin and here we are in snapseed so we are going to be playing with some adjustments and see what looks really really best so i think i'll darken it a bit give it some more contrast increase the saturation or maybe not i think i'll reduce the saturation go to ambience i think i'll increase this one highlight take it up maybe shadows take it up or down up down let's leave it down warm take it up before after not bad come over here again you can go to details you can add some structure and sharpen it a bit Click on done. Come over here, go to curves. You can give it some reds. Take down the reds and the shadows. Come over here to greens. You can also give it some greens and also take it down on the shadows. Okay. And for the blues, you can take it down at the shadows. Add a light and take it up by the shadows before after it's not bad so let's try white balance okay all right so you don't have to end here you can also go for the add more adjustments and yeah i think i'll stop here thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye